Welcome back to your girl Tiona in the house and yes guys when you see those orange stuff that need carrot we're gonna make a quick Jamaican carrot cake yes my husband's aunt yes yes gave me this re recipe sorry but I'm gonna add my twist to it all right guys so I have four carrots I scrape them somewhat and wash them I'm gonna use four eggs and I have some raisins I soak in my Jamaican red label wine yes for a long time with your carrot cake you can add some natural squeeze orange juice but now I'm gonna blend my pineapple some of my frozen pineapple you can use just regular pineapple and you need all your spices and stuff I'm adding extra cuz I'm extra all right guys I'm gonna just put everything together shred my carrot and then we're gonna get to baking I use this um, small part of the grater instead of that and this one will make it be too fine so I use this and that's what I have I'm gonna add my two cups of flour pretty easy I have my baking soda I'm gonna add half teaspoon guys the struggle is real anyhow as I was showing I add half teaspoon baking soda and I put it there already sometimes you think the camera is videoing and it's not it's pause so guys the struggle is real anyhow I have some baking powder I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoon Then I'm gonna use the half. So that's it. Half teaspoon salt. You can add quarter. Half teaspoon of these cloves. Add half teaspoon of this mace it's the outer covering of the nutmeg and now I'm gonna add also half teaspoon of cinnamon now we're gonna sieve this all together in this bowl I'm gonna break my eggs And guys I'm gonna take out all these white parts and then I'll be back squeeze a teaspoon or a tablespoon watch the seeds okay guys it's about a teaspoon add three quarter cups of vegetable oil you can add coconut oil if you want one cup of brown sugar you can use half and half or you can use either or look at that goodness and you want to beat this again for another few minutes all right I have some almond extract here I'm gonna add half teaspoon I'm gonna add two teaspoon vanilla half teaspoon rose water this is optional I blend my pineapple you can add orange juice if you want but I'm gonna use everything all right we're gonna pour this in at the same time it's about a cup mmm smells so good you can use orange juice okay guys but this is a secret don't tell no one and you just want to give this a little mix you see that goodness you don't want to over mix it all right look at that goodness guys yes 
and at this point guys we're gonna add our flour mixture all right I'm gonna do it in two portions you just want to take your time and fold it in okay guys mm. oh god I think you can drink this just like that it smells like eggnog guys have you ever tried eggnog with the spice and the flavor in it oh it smells just like eggnog mm. Mm. I mean the Jamaican eggnog now okay guys you have to put lots of flavor We're gonna add our carrots. You're gonna get about two and a half to three cups from those carrots, and we're gonna add that in. At the same time, I'm gonna add my raisin. It's about half cup of raisins, and I soak it in some um, Jamaican red label wine. Mmm, smells amazing. I'm gonna put all of it. Ooh, and you can see the little bit of wine there, guys. Look at that put all of it in there okay guys yes and that's it guys you just want to fold everything in and we're gonna bake Alright guys, now you see the goodness here, this is how you want it, yes, and you don't want it too sweet, less sugar is the best. Alright, and we're going to pour it in. This will be super moist and delicious. I preheat my oven at 350 and I'm gonna bake it for about 50 minutes to an hour and we're gonna make some cream cheese topping all right I have some icing sugar or powdered sugar quarter stick of butter you want it at room temperature or if not you can warm up it a little bit for a few seconds in the microwave half pack of cream cheese quarter stick of butter or less room temperature look at that goodness squeeze of lime about a teaspoon of lime juice or lemon juice this is lemon juice one teaspoon vanilla now I'm gonna cream this and I'm gonna add the sugar gradually and we need one cup We're gonna gradually add um, our sugar. This is how it looks so far guys. I'm just going to scrape down the sides. So guys, you want it to have a peak like this. Can you see my peak? <laughs> There's my peak. It's been one hour and about five it and that's it guys that's it right there all right we're gonna let this bad boy cool down 
all right my peeps so it's been cooling for about 20 25 minutes all right All right, I'm gonna turn it back over. Mm. This is my homemade carrot cake, super moist and easy. Look at that goodness, guys. So that's it, and we're gonna cut it. We're just gonna put it over here look at this and then I'm gonna put the topping on can you see how super moist that is guys see all the pieces of carrots in it you see the goodness there guys yes yes mm -hmm. let me show you how moist it is All right, and that's the big mama over here, guys. Super moist. In this Ziploc bag, just a small one, I have some of the icing, and I'm just gonna try to decorate it somewhat, <laughs> just a little bit. All right, guys. There you have it guys can you see the goodness super moist super nice suit my little bit of icing mm. I'm gonna dive down into this slice after I take a picture there you have it all right guys this is my homemade carrot cake my aunt recipe and I add my twist to it super soft super moist and as I said before I bake this for about hour and five minutes all right love upon me and I love upon you